guys, so <laughs> I've been trying to film this video for ages and you know when you just can't get your words out properly and I'm like going blah blah and can't speak properly. Um, yeah, so I started filming this video when it was actually light outside and there was nice natural light coming in and everything and it just got darker and darker and um, now I've had to kind of put a light on and set it all up and stuff so I don't know if this is going to look really dark or um, not going to show the products very well but oh well, I'm sure you'll let me know if it's not very good. So, um, yeah, I tweeted about a week ago or maybe a bit more that, um, oh, and I also put it in my blog as well, if you read that, um, that I was going to be doing a Valentine's Day Lush haul. Yeah, I'm only just kind of really getting round to doing it now. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to go straight into it, because otherwise I'll just end up talking for ages. But the Valentine's Day Lush collection is out now. I'm really excited about it, some really nice products, and I'm going to show you what I got. So, first of all, I got the X Factor, which is a bath ballistic, I believe. This one was actually available last Valentine's Day as well. So, here's back show you up close if you can see it's a bit bright it's a little man with a pink heart and this one smells mainly of vanilla so if you like vanilla scents then you'll definitely like this bath ballistic and he is £1.99 which is quite good I'm actually reading this off the Lush Times because this is their new one if you don't get the Lush Times I would really recommend it because it's got all the prices in and it tells you what all the scents are and the different products and the little stories behind them so it's really interesting if you're a fan of Lush and on the back it has all of the Lush Valentine's Day products including the two gift sets and products here so I'll try and get through them as quickly as possible so next I got Lovebird soap now the soap, the, the whole chunk of the soap, the whole block that they make looks like this really 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 gorgeous and then obviously they cut chunks off and you get a chunk of it to buy. Unless you wanted to buy the whole thing, which would cost a lot of money. And would probably last you for the rest of your life. Um, but I picked this one out because it had all the little colours on it. And it was really one of the nicest ones that you could get. But I mean, it's a piece of soap at the end of the day. It's not like the biggest deal in the world if you don't get a really nice piece. But I mean, I can't remember this piece cost me... £3.66, so for a piece of soap it's quite expensive really, um, but I do like it. The scents in it are mainly jasmine and vanilla. It's quite a refreshing smell, the jasmine really makes it quite lively and it's just very fresh, but still it smells quite sweet and pretty as well, so it's a really, really gorgeous smell. So yeah, that's the Love Bird soap. So next I got the Magic Mushroom, and this is a bubble bar. I love bubble bars, they're one of my favourite things from Lush because they just make so many bubbles and it's just nice to have a big bubble, bubble bath and it smells lovely. So this one's really nice because it smells of strawberries and cream, which is like two of my favourite smells. So I obviously assume that this would smell of strawberry and this smells of cream, but to me it's actually the other way around. Like this piece they've scented with strawberry, it smells really fruity to me and the top smells of vanilla so I'm not sure if that's the way around that they've done it just because obviously strawberries are much stronger smell than vanilla so they needed less of it I don't know if that's what they've done or if it's me just imagining it or imagining it or what but it's a really nice smell especially the strawberry bit it's really really pretty and it just looks so cute it's like a little mushroom magic mushroom. Okay so the second to last thing is something I really really love and this was the thing that made me fall in love with the new Valentine's Day collection. So so cute and I just knew I had to get it no matter what it smelt like. Um, it's the Frog Prince. Let me see if you can see that properly. This is another bath ballistic or bath bomb whatever you like to call them. He's so cute. So this part is obviously the bath ballistic and then the lips, I think, are a bath melt. Let me look. I've been told that the lips are a bath melt, but I don't really know. But they're, they're like a totally different texture to the uh, frog. And also, if you rub the lips, it's bright red like lipstick, so that's quite cool as well. But, I mean, it comes off really easily. And he was um, 2 75 and the Magic Mushroom was 2 30 um, and the scents in the Prince Frog are 
jasmine, rose, rosewood and neroli. But it's got a real floral smell to it. And when I first smelled this one and this one, I thought they smelled really similar. So I thought they'd scented it with the same thing. But it's actually the jasmine in both products smells quite strong. So if you love jasmine, then you'll really love this collection. They've gone with really floral, fresh smells and fruity, vanilla scents as well, which are quite fitting to the holiday really because it's all about love and romance and etc etc but anyway the last product I've got to show you is my favourite product and can't believe I'm actually saying this my I think my favourite ever product from Lush um, I've tried it I, I couldn't not try it I could, I've waited to not use these products until this video which like I said has been over a week but I couldn't not use this product because it's amazing um this is it's raining men shower gel looks like that so the reason that i love this so much if you've watched my videos from the very beginning you'll know that two of my favorite ever lush scents are rockstar and honey i wash the kids and they're both in soap form which if you remember earlier i was saying it's my least favorite thing like bars of soap from lush um so they've released Honey I Wash The Kids scented shower gel and it smells exactly the same and it's amazing. I can't rave about this enough. I can't stop smelling it. It's so lovely. I didn't buy the smallest bottle or the largest bottle. I bought the 250 grams um, and that was about, let me see, I'll tell you. Um, the 100 grams is 425. The 250, which is this size, is 795. And then if you want the big bottle, which is 500 grams, that's 14, 14.25. So for a shower gel, it's very expensive, but that's what all their shower gels cost in Lush. Um, so I went for this one because obviously I didn't know if I would like it, but I didn't want to buy the tiny one because I knew that I would like it, um, but I just didn't realise how much. So I think before Valentine's Day is over, I'm going to have to run in and get a few more bottles of this to have as backups because I've used that much already in a week and you really only need a tiny bit it lavers up really really nicely it's got really really big bubbles and the best thing about it is you can smell it on your skin for ages after which I think is one of the key things to have in a really nice shower gel or body wash that you can smell it for ages after and it's just got that beautiful honey scent but it's also got exotic flowers in it Honey, rose hip, lotus flower and tiger lily infusion. Now doesn't that just sound lovely? And it really, really is. I mean, I cannot rave about this enough. I just, please Lush, if you're watching this video, which you're probably not, but if you're watching this video, please make this a permanent product in your line because I would just buy it every single time I run out. I would just buy it again. And that's a lot for me to say that about a product because I love to change the products that I use. So, that's everything I got from the um, Lush Valentine's Day collection. That's everything in the collection apart from the gift boxes which include some of those products and also other products in the Lush range that are kind of romantic and stuff like that, which they have in their like permanent collection. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video and I'll speak to you later. Bye guys!